just thank you for what you God is doing. Let's begin to thank him, let's begin to appreciate him and give that honor to him. Let our Lord we thank you, our King, we honor you for your love towards us. We are Greeks towards our life, let's begin to bless them. Let's say to him, Jehovah God, you are great. You are kind, you are wonderful, there is no one like you. And there is no one beside you, Jesus. Jesus, the rock of ages. Jesus, our place of strength and power. Jesus, all that is in all. Jesus, we thank you. Let's lift our voice and worship him. Let's give that praise to the owners of heaven and earth, to the maker of all things. Bless them. Bless them for this good privilege they have given to you. Bless them. Bless them for your strength. Jesus, we thank you. Women important God, we honor you. Just honor him. Say to him, Father, we thank you. Say to him, Father, we honor you. Worship you for who you are. We worship you for your grace. We worship you for your strength, O oh God. Thank Him and bless Him. Thank Him and glorify Him. Thank Him and honor Him. Jesus, we thank. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we glorify your name. Somebody bless him, bless the Lord, bless the King, bless our Savior for what he has planned to do in this prayer, for what he has done for keeping you alive. Let's appreciate him, honor him right now, worship him, return all the glory back to him, all the honor. Let's worship him. All the glory must be to God. 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 Thank Him. Worship the Lord. Give that praise to Him. Worship Him. Worship the Lord. Exhort Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Jesus, thank Him, thank Omnipotent God, thank Jehovah God, worship El Shaddai, Jehovah God, we worship you, Jehovah God, we thank you, we honor you for who you are, we honor you for your grace, we honor you for your spirit, O oh God, just worship Him. And bless his holy name, worship him, and thank him. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we praise you. Father, we support you. Thank him. Give glory to him. Give honor to him. Bless him. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we praise you. We give that praise to him. Father, we thank you all for your plan this year. Thank you all for waking us up this morning. Thank you all for being there at all time. Thank you all. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that honor to the Lord. The Lord, we thank you. Jehovah God, we thank you. O many potent God, we thank you. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the King. Blessed be the name of our Savior. Thank Him. Thank Him for His great plan towards you. Thank Him for what Jehovah God is going to do to you. Let's exhort the King and thank Him. So, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm here to worship. I'm here to bow down. I'm here to say, 
that you are my God. Oh, thank Him we are here to say that you are our Savior. I'm here to worship you, God. I'm here to bow down. I'm here to say that you are my King. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Little girl is worship the Lord and give that praise that he deserves and give that honor to him. Yeah. Over God, I bless your name. Bless his holy name. Bless the name of our God. Worship him. Let's give that honor that is due to him, that praise that is due to God. Thank him for his love. Thank him for the glory of him. Thank him for the blessing of him. Thank him for the grace of the Lord. Thank him for his love towards us, for his love towards our life. For his love towards our children, let's give that praise to him. That glory to the Lord. That glory to the King. That worship to the Holy God. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Worship his holy name. Thank his holy name. Praise his holy name. Exalt his holy name. The Lord Somebody worship the Lord. Give that praise to Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let your heart worship Him. Let your heart worship Him. Let your heart bless Him. Bless Him because He deserves all of our praise. Let the, let our heart bless the Lord. Psalm one and forty-five. See, I will exalt Thee, my God. O oh, my King, I will bless thy name forever and ever. See, I'm going to bless the name of the Lord forever and ever. Every day we I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. See what he says every day. See, great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. Oh, and his greatness is unsuitable. God, greatness, you cannot find it. God, greatness, you cannot. It's too much. One generation shall praise thee, the works to another, another, and shall declare the mighty art. You know, begin to thank the Lord. Worship him in Jesus' name. We pray. Sometimes when I was young, so many of us, I know it has happened now. So, where do you ask yourself, who is the Father of God? Where did God come from? You know, in your heart. It's not the same. Oh, so please don't ask, don't ask, don't ask, don't say that. It's okay. God don't mind. But the Bible told us it's unsearchable. Our God is the only one alone. Hallelujah. So why is I see there's no father, there's no one, it's only how you know the Bible told you that is unsearchable. But one day when we see him, the Bible says we go to like him. So the question will be answered right away. That question will be answered, you will know. Oh, okay, this is what it is. We don't know now. There's I can someone, just one person, and it's God. So how? Is the father die and uh, learn his power and now he has a power and everything you know there's many questions in our heart and the bible told us he has made it known to us he says generation great is the lord and greatly to be praised his greatness is unsearchable so you can understand you can fathom the greatness of him is the one thing that will happen one one generation shall praise thee thy works to another. Why? Because we look at the sky, we look at the star and the moon, declare the glory of God. 
that should there's a designer and moon has its own function. I think those that say there is no God, Babu has answered them. It's this foolish man say in his heart, there is no God. God has answered the question. If anyone says that, oh, there is no God, it's answer that that person is foolish. Hallelujah. Because when you see the star and the moon, the rain, yes, and this, it functions to our own benefit. He has his own function at his own time. Sun for the day, moon for the night. The rainy season, dry season, and all those things are, look at your body, the function, how your body function. You will eat, you will do this, all kind of know that there's somebody that designed you. There's a designer that designed us. He put a brain there, he created a woman and created a man, totally different from each other. Hallelujah, in their own function. You must know there is somebody that designed that sit in heaven that design us. You are not you are not of your own, but you are for him. That's why you must worship him. Oh my god, I love you to the masik in heaven. Moto to the kema batukuli resik in heaven. Mato kudlem de shiki tili bokara. Yeah, I'm to worship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Somebody thank him. Thank him. The Bible told us in Psalm 145, verse 8, The Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. Look at it. Write it down. Circle it in your scripture. The Lord is gracious. The Lord, that's the attribute of God. The attribute of God, I mean, is gracious. Hallelujah. When somebody is gracious, you know the God you are dealing with, and you know that your, your prayer is going to be answered. The Bible told us, God is gracious. He said, God is gracious. I don't know how you want to put that word to yourself if somebody is gracious. Hallelujah. If you look at that word, the word gracious. Hallelujah. Pleasant, smiling. Hallelujah. God is pleasant. God is good. 
Hallelujah. God is gracious. Hallelujah. Kind. Yes. I don't want to say God is a kind God. So that means when you look at the one that you are talking to every day, you see, he's kind. God is kind. Not, don't let Satan let you see God is a wicked God. All you just want to do is to throw you, is your sin against him and to put you in hell. That's not what God wants to do for us. You know, some people look, present God in that way to us. I know God is going to judge us. Is we send people to hell, total separation from Him, total separation from God, hell. Would, that I know is going to happen to some people. Like, total separation from God. I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to do with you. Total separation and any separation from God is hell. Separation from God is hell itself. So, but in another side, this God. The Bible told me he's a gracious God, very kind, very kind God. See God like that, that is a very kind God. Don't take him for granted, but he's look at him that he's a loving God, that he loves you, that he cares about your life. Satan won't also feel the God don't care about you. That's what Satan told the wife of, of Joe, curse God and die. I mean, this God is too, he's not, he's a terrible God. Curse him and die. And Job that have known the ways of God. He said, Listen, why are you saying this? This woman, you can never receive, you have been receiving good. Also, bad also will come to a season for good, a season that you pass through. You are not going to, when you pass through, you are not going to stay there, you are passing through it. I, I don't know what you are passing through today, but you will come out of yourself full of compassion. Full. I mean, God, as you are thinking, about your life, that burdens in your heart, am I going to do it? Is it going to happen? Am I going to get it? Am I going to receive it? Is it going to happen in my life? Am I going to break forth? As you are thinking like that, you know God also is thinking like that with you. Full of compassion. This is the attribute of God. Don't let you see God that is a wicked God just watching over you just to sin and knock your head. That's not your God. God is very gracious, full of compassion, slow to anger. Look at what that God, very slow to anger. Do you know how many times you have seen and it's looking at you? I will say this in my own thought, that you cannot see. Don't, don't let you say, oh, Pastor, say, oh, let me commit this sin. God will beat me right away. There's a consequence for every sin, which God has nothing to do with it. There's a consequence for sin. Which God has nothing to do with it. He has laid it down. When somebody is stealing, God has nothing to do with it. If the man is caught and they put him in prison or they send him to a big kill, the witch of sin is dead. He's told you. God has nothing to do with the consequence of anything. He's will say, whatever you plant, you get. God has nothing to do with it. Any sin, the consequence of it, he has nothing. Because this is what it is. This is what is going to happen. The Bible says, slow in anger. He look at us. This is your God. I want you to see God in that way. That is a loving God that cares about your life. Is a loving God. Great. Great. God. Slow in anger. Of great mercy. Oh! Slow in anger. But of great mercy. Thank Him for His love. Thank him for his caring. Thank him for the privilege. Thank him. Thank him. Do you know what the Bible says? Fear. Don't fear any man that can only kill the body. What only man can do to you? The worst a man can do to his soul is to kill the body. The Bible told us we should fear not only one that can kill the body, and not only that, he will kill the spirit too. God, not only God will kill the body, God also will kill the, the spirit itself. The, the, the what man can only do, man can only kill the body. Man cannot kill the spirit. But the Bible told us, fear the one that can kill the body and also will kill the spirit himself. We put that spirit in hell. But thank him, worship him, be fresh to him for loving you. Appreciate him. Tell him, Lord, I thank you for loving me. Lord, I thank you 
for caring for me. Thank you, Lord, for being there. If not God on our side, I don't think you are just waking up. You will probably jump from your bed and you think oh, something has happened, but God protected you. Sometimes we don't think like that. that oh, we think we just, you see, if, if it's not God on our side, remember it's on your side that you are standing today. Enemy thought you have finished our sins. Enemy thought that you have you not know, destroyed our life. But God, that sits in heaven, full of great mercy, compassionate, glorious, is on our side. That's why you are standing, you are standing because of God's mercy. I'm standing because of God's grace. My children are standing because of God's blessing. Somebody return it back to God and say, Father, I worship you. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. We can ask him, Father, I know that I am a sinner. But I want us to acknowledge it. Forgiveness only comes when you agree with your sin. He cannot forgive you. I God won't forgive you. When you don't agree with that very sin, it's a sin. It's a no, but it's not a key. sin. It's a sin. It's a sin, no, but everybody is doing it. Hallelujah. Oh, it's a sin. It's something you invoke, invoke now. That, oh, it's just something. It's 21 century. Come on. Oh, it's a sin. Hallelujah. Let's acknowledge our very sin before the Lord and ask Him to give us. I acknowledge my sin before you, God. I have sinned, Lord. I have sinned. The Bible says, Our body is the temple of God. In Jesus' name, who pray, said, Daddy, clean my heart. Jesus was saying to this disciple about what a man eats. He was telling them one parable, and they came to Jesus. The disciple came to Jesus. They asked him, "Tell us why are you saying that? Tell us that it's only that a man that not not what a man eat that makes him to be a sinner, but what your thought is your thought that make you to sinner? Any food you eat today, God, I don't think we should keep on just eat any junk food. God will not really bothers." God only cares about what you eat is to yourself. If you eat junk, it's up to yourself. But what really cares? Your mind. That's why there's a battle of the mind. That's why there's a battle of the mind. In the mind, struggle. In the mind, sin operate. In the mind. So Jesus was telling the disciple not what come out of a man that defy not what a man eats not that everything that defied him, but what comes out of that man. That's the very thing that, defi <coughs> that defies a man. That's why I'm going to pray the Lord God of heaven to take over my heart. Tell the Lord Jehovah God, take over my heart now. Somebody pray, tell the Lord, Lord, take over my heart. Reign in my heart. In Kataluzu Kula in this prayer this year, take over my heart, O oh God. In produce so to the make, the country may so to the big level. Makoto lima shanty level. Matoko rabate kelebo. Makoto lima sikelebo. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray what happened in that story. Matthew chapter 16 of the, the Pharisee came to Jesus and they said to Jesus, Why? Your disciples are not following the tradition. Why are they not following the tradition? Yes, so why they are not following the tradition? Why do your disciples disobey our old, eight old tradition? For they ignore our tradition of ceremonial and worship before they eat. So the disciple, the Pharisee, the Sudasi came to Jesus. Look at where I'm going somewhere. They came to Jesus saying, Why the disciple are not following tradition when they are eating? So to wash their hand. You know? And look at what Jesus says in verse 3. And Jesus replied, 
why do you so and and Jesus replied and why do you by your tradition violate the direct commandment of God why okay and Jesus replied them so why okay you people violate the direct commandment of God for instance God say honor your father and your mother and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of your father or your mother must be put to death Jesus said, okay, now your, your, your disciples don't wash their hand before they eat. Why did they disobey that? Now Jesus, now throw it back to them. Now what about this tradition that God, that, this is the God commandment, direct one to us. You should obey your prayer. But you see, it is your all right for people to say to their parents, sorry, I cannot help you. For I violate to give God what I should give to you. I mean, that's why I say sometimes, anyone that say to you, your parents is a wish, your father is this and that, don't take care of them. That's the, that's the, God will never, I told you that's a principle, when God will never turn back. It's a principle of God. God will not bend his way, no matter how. Another principle, somebody offended you, oh, bra -ba -ba -shake -le -bo. God says you should not forgive the person. Never. No matter how the person offended you, the principle of God, no matter what it is, is to forgive. There's a lay down principle, that that's what Jesus was saying, that now you are telling that because of your tradition, you disrespect your father. You do certain things to your father. Why do you do that? Because it's a direct commandment of God. No matter how your father do certain things, why do you do that? Just Jesus throw at them. There's a principle of God that you must honor your father because of your religiosity, of your mindset, say you will not do that. So Jesus threw it back at them. In this way, why are you saying you don't need to honor your parents? So the, the, the Pharisees, because of their religiosity, their spirituality, in their own way, say we don't you do, don't you do that. They say my father is a wish, my mother is a wish. I don't have to do that to him. Hallelujah. Or I see somebody that took his own son, took his own daughter somewhere. I see he's a wish. I begin to maltreat the person. That's not of God. So you cancel the word of God for your own sake, tradition. Sometimes, many of us sometimes we too spirit. I don't say I will not use the word too spiritual, but lack of understanding of what God is saying of the principle. We walk through revelation or through a prophecy. We go against what God is saying. Somebody told you, somebody prophesied over your life. I see Mrubu shake the Goshaba and say all these things to you. My sister, do this and this and my brother, do this and that. Look at it, it's not aligned with God. And I think it's right. Look at what he just was saying. And you, hypocrites, I was right when he said, prophesy about you for saying. He was wrote, these people honor me with their leaves, but their heart is far from me. Look at what he says. For their worship is offense, for their teach man made ideas. As God has command from God. They teach man made ideas. They teach man made ideas. And they say this is the command from God. That's why you need to be very careful and have understanding of the scripture. Oh, they say it's a revelation. God speak to me. Oh, I have a dream. Oh, I, I, uh, no, 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 no. He say it's a man made ideas, not from God's commandment. Look at what Jesus said. And now then, Jesus called to the crowd to come and hear and listen and try to understand. It's not for God to go to your own mouth that defies you. That it's not what you eat, what you eat. You eat. I don't say you should go and eat junk. You know, remember, your body will also. You know, so not what you eat that defines you, but you know what you eat? You say it's not what does, goes into your mouth that defies you. You are defied. By the words that comes out of your mouth, you are defy. You say not what you eat that makes you to sin. I don't say you go and carry a cold of beer now. The pastor say I should drink. No, I'm not saying that. But you know, but Bible say not what you eat that defies you. And then the disciple came to him now and asked him, asked, do you realize you have offended the Pharisee by what you have just said? And, and Jesus replied, every plant, you see, every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted. Any culture 
any principle that is not of God is going to be removed. So ignore them. And the blind guys leading the blind. Is it the blind leading the blind? Is it the blind leading the blind? They don't have the understanding of the scripture of what God is saying. If anyone blind person guide another, they both fall into the ditch. So you must have understanding of the word of God. And then Peter said to Jesus, explain to us the parable saying to people, we are defied by what we eat. So Peter didn't only really understand, he went back to Jesus. Tell us that about the parable of what you eat and put in your mouth. Look at it very well. This is why we are going. He said, do you not understand yet that Jesus has had anything you eat pass through your stomach then goes into the sewage? I mean, if you eat now, after some time, you go to the toilet and pour it off. Hallelujah. But in verse 18, but the word you speak comes from your heart. It's what that defies you. Anything that you speak, anything you act upon, anything you speak, is it that great thing that defies you? From your heart comes evil thought. From your heart comes for evil thought, murder, adultery, or sexual morality, thief, lying, slander. This is what defied you. Eating with unwashed hand who never defied you. He said, what defies the man is what you are thinking. He said, drunk man. The drunk man is saying what is in his heart. That's why we need to pray. Lord, that's why devil is after the heart, our heart. That's why devil wants to capture the heart. That's why devil, the battle of the mind. If I have anything, I have to have the thought of it. I'm going to drink. I'm going to no, let it go about drinking. I'm going to do this, you know. I like that person. Mm. I'm going to abuse. I'm going to still have the person. Don't worry when you come. Inside your thought is your thought. That very thing that defies you. What you are thinking. Because from that heart, evil talk comes. That's why the devil speaks into our heart. That's why it's a battleground. I said, your heart is a battleground. Every heart. Oh, ah, the man has the, already processed it in his thought. He said, from that heart, let's not capture my heart today. Take over my heart. Rule over my heart. Remember, you have no resource of every evil. You have no resource of stealing. It's from the heart. The source of adultery, fornication, of every sin you want to mention, we have known the source of it. You see, it's from the heart. And that very thing that defies, not the food, not eating pork. I'm not eating pork. What has to do with God? If, if you eat pork, you don't eat pork. If you eat dog, you don't eat consign God. But what's in your heart that defies you? Lift your voice and pray. Matoko plendo shit in evo kapayera. Lemprendo shit in evo. My father, take over my heart in Jesus' name. Our king will pray. Say, Lord, let your spirit come upon me. Let your spirit fill me. Lift your voice and say, Father, let your spirit come upon me. Let your spirit fill me. As I join it this year, let me join it in holiness, in righteousness, in faithfulness with you. In a walk with you, open your heart to pray as I join this year in the name of Jesus. Let me join in your law. Somebody pray that prayer. La koto koko tekelevo. Somebody pray that prayer. That as you join this year, you join in the love of God. Somebody pray. Indo la daru moshontiya. Le prendo sin televo. As I join this year, I join in the grace of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, all what my past year has not released to me, let this year release to me. All good things, my, you know what is your age. You know your age. I mean your past age. All those good things at that past age have not released to you. Let this very year release to me. Open your heart and pray in the name of Jesus. All my past years has not released all good things that has not released to me. Let this very year release it to me. Open your heart and pray. In Kapatoli, my soul to the home. Open your heart and open your heart to God. All what has never happened before. 
things that has never happened to before in your life since you were born for good things in the life of my children. Let it begin this year. Let it happen in this year in Jesus' name. Our Lord will lift your request before the Lord. Say, Daddy, give an answer to this to God. Say, Lord, give an answer to this. Jehovah God, lift your voice and pray that Lord God of heaven to give an answer to this very request in your life. Say, Lord, give an answer to this request in my life. Somebody pray, Lord Jehovah God, give an answer to this request in my own. In the name, open your heart and pray. Pray and talk to God. In the name of Jesus, tell the Lord to give an answer to that job that you are praying to that fruitfulness, to that breakthrough that you are trusting God in this season. In Jesus' name, we pray. Uh -huh. You know, as I pray, I have the thought before. I thought it's a thought. And I, I just, I truly am saying the truth. I ignore it. I thought it's just a thought. But you know, he returned back again. So how was this? Because it, it, to me, it makes no sense. You know, like somebody is buying a goat head. <laughs> Somebody is buying a good head. Any sacrifice of a good head, of a cow head, any sacrifice of a cow head over your life, it came, yeah, I thought it was this. I, actually, I know it's come. But then it came back here in return. So I said, okay, nobody can beat me for it. If I see it, it costs nothing. Hallelujah. If you have question about it, call me after the service. <laughs> yes. So he returned again. Said, What's this? Somebody buying a any I'll just pray. Any evil sacrifice. You know, because a few days now I begin to look at you know, you know, some Facebook, all those evil post, you know, sometimes and I learn from it, I look at it, I listen, you know, I just you know, I pay attention to certain things, you know, just to to see how life so how many people preparing things or concussion. You eat this thing I said, okay is how you will some people will fish yeah, this kind of fishing this kind of this thing you will use oh, this kind of uh, this I said this time said, eh. and you uh, you make this kind of fish you slice it like this you pour this I will deliver you so I begin to take a look at it every sacrifice sacrifice over your life every cancer it Every evil sacrifice, no matter whatever they have demanded, whatever they want to put together against you, Holy Spirit put it down. In the name of Jesus, any evil sacrifice, only a kusakoya. I told you, somebody told me. Not a lie, I will say it again. Say, Pastor, you always say it because he somebody told me by herself. I was in front of him. He said, he, he killed the uh, uh, other woman with just a pig. A pig. If I feel it, lady that I kill her because just one pig. They use one pig to finish the person. You see, the person die. Okay, let me see it right. More than a pig. He said, I bought a pig with sacrifice. The woman died. So don't joke with me. I finish it. <laughs> and she was saying it in the front. She was saying it by herself. She was saying it by herself. You see, the, 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 the person took her on this. The other one is the evil person too. So she took her on this. And, uh, so the, so all, this is what I'm saying is many years ago, this is what I'm saying to you. It's just not. So all this evil thing has been there, still on this. This is what I'm saying is about over 35 years now. This is what I'm just saying to you that the woman was staying in front of me over 35 years now. Yes, around that area. So evil has been there, stealing somebody on this sort of stuff. It has been there for a long time. Uh, maybe social media revealed it. No. I pray every hand of evil shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, it will not work. Any plans of evil, any evil sacrifice to affect your children, to affect your dream, it will destroy it. Every dish or whatever they have demanded, whatever they have asked for, for life, they will not find it. In the name of Jesus, 
they will not find it. Ipadole ma kuprada, mosondo le beke fledebo, metomle ke lebo kapam, mesondo le beke lebo. In Jesus, he will be also he who has been there. Remember, when that little girl is dancing, dancing before Herod, dancing before Herod, and the mother say, what the man said, a foolish act. You are not God in God's position. Act anything you want, I'm going to give to you. Anything in front of people. And the woman called her daughter. Tell the Herod, I want John the Baptist's head. So what he has to do with John the Baptist's head? He has been there. So people have been receiving people's head, even the scripture. I want John the Baptist's head. That's what I want. And the king thought he has made a vow in front of people. And he can, ah, I will disgrace myself here. A foolish vow. Hallelujah, you are not in God's position. So I will do all. God is one that can see it. And, and he will know that he is able to do what he has declared. And he went over and caught. Cut his head off. And he put it in the bowl and presented the head to a man. Evil over your life shall be destroyed. Evil over your children shall be destroyed. Evil over your life shall be destroyed. Say that thing very well. Evil, there's a evil. There's a evil. There's an evil. This world is an evil world. That's why we're going to we are going to heaven. No evil shall be for you. Pray over your request. Say, Father, answer me speedily. Let there be great result over this request. Daddy, let me hear your voice over this request. No deny in the name of Jesus. Let you have a grant unto you. In Jesus' name, our King will pray. Get that oil. Say, Lord, as I anoint myself, Father, answer me speedily. Let every evil mark be removed from me as I anoint myself with this oil. Somebody, this oil is best. Anytime you apply, I pray that this oil shall be a gift for you. A physical gift. I mean, you can see it. And anytime you apply it, that's my prayer for everyone, that you obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. That should be a gift. Not only a spiritual gift alone, physical thing that you can touch. That anytime you apply this oil, the power should follow. That's my prayer. Anytime you use this oil, miracle follow, blessing follow. Open your heart and pray. As I anoint myself with this oil, in the name of Jesus, let my yoke of barrenness, let the yoke of sickness break in my life. Let it break in my home. Let it break in life of my children. As I anoint myself in Jesus' name to pray. I know many of us sometimes, which also I want us to go beyond a physical thing that you can see. I know many of us sometimes you are too much on what physical things you can feel. It's not no, it has been there in the scripture. It's in the Bible. It has been there in the scripture. That's something and I and that's why sometimes I want to run away from all but sometimes what can I do? <laughs> you know uh, we like something we can feel. That's why many people have been taken advantage of go and do this, go and do that. Eh? Until you tell somebody, some people will not believe. They go and do that. Mm, that's that. That is have power. No. What has power is the spirit of God in you. We like it. It has been there. The, it's the, the people of Israel also tell Aaron, you want to see God that we can feel like others. So that's the, it. I think probably the nature of man, because Jesus also noticed it. If you don't see miracle, I think maybe is the let me just use maybe is the our name is the nature of a man. Because Jesus also came and said, if you don't see a miracle, you will not believe. Maybe let me let me just maybe it's because of nature of man. But God wants us to go beyond what you can see, what you can feel. I know what I'm talking about, you know. Ah, you are saying you're going to say things like and then you begin to call. Hey no, what do you what do you say we should do? How do you come on? Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. But also pray that as you exercise your faith through this, miracle follow. There's nothing bad in all. Eh? Hallelujah. Because I, be, I hear some certain things, you know. I, I don't like to come. Nah, things are here. Hey. They say you should go and do such a thing. Oh, yes. They say you should go and do it. I, <laughs> sometimes I laugh. Say, who told you to go and do such a thing? Ah, they say I should go and do such a thing. No. They say we should do it. Eh? Hey. So, okay, okay. 
Let me show you the scripture. Look at what Bible say. It's not a talk to you. Except you go, I will not say certain things. Some say go and do it, whatever you believe it, go and do it. I don't that's up to you. Hallelujah. Except you know, I only preach faith to you to know what God wants to do through faith in your heart. I think it's our nature. Let me show you this is our nature. Because as been there in the scripture, Jesus Christ knew that oh, I'm saying something you will not believe. But God wants to go beyond the thing and have faith in you. Lift your voice as, as I Psalm 142. I cry unto thee with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord. Did I make my supplication? I pour my complaint before him and show be showed before him my trouble. He said, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then he knew you my part. In the way therein I walk, there have they prevailing lay his name for me. I pray today as you look unto God crying to him, as you leave that oil. He says in verse 7 of Psalm 42, verse 7, he said, Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. That shall be your portion. You will come out of prison of failure. You will come out of spirit prison of disappointment. Say, Lord, as I anoint myself with this oil, let me come out of prison. Some people have been in the prison since the day they were born. Some people have entered battle since the day they were born. Let my life come out of prison. Since day some people have entered into that marriage, they have been in prison. As I anoint myself, let me come out of any prison that my life is in. Let my children come out of prison that they are in. Open your heart and pray. That is the word of God. Psalm 142, verse 7. He said, Bring me out. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. Somebody pray. I'm coming out of prison. Prison of lack and shame. Spirit, spirit, prison of delay. Prison of failure. Somebody pray you are coming out as you anoint yourself with that oil. Your life is coming out of prison. Your dream is coming out, out of prison. My yakuta kuta kilaba. Mato ko plano si kelebo, makito plende keleba, meke to ble ke se kelebo, makati kelebo shandelo, makado ke plega. You are coming out of prison. My work is coming out of prison. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Your children is coming out of prison in the name of Jesus. Your family is coming out of prison. That prison of sickness, of disappointment. I'm coming out. I break the yoke in the name of Jesus. I'm coming out. Of prison, but I'm coming out of prison. In the name of Jesus, prison the place of confinement when there's no progress, there's no success. Don't death by the power of the Lord. You are coming out, anoint yourself with that oil. I'm coming out, I'm free from that prison of failure. I'm coming out, I'm free from that prison of timely death. Some people say, No, no, there's no doubt that person will die. You you are coming out of that prison that pursue you. That prison of death. You are coming out. Your children is coming out. Do not bury any of your children. I am Baba this year. I'm coming out of prison. My life is coming out of prison of failure. Open your eyes. You know what is happening to you. Then you know what you are passing through. You know what you are saying. My life is coming out of prison. My dream is coming out of prison. Out of prison. In Jesus' name we pray today. Come out of prison. Let your life come out of it. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we will get the picture of your children. See, Daddy, I cover all my children in your blood. That no evil of the day, that the evil of the nation before them. I will not mourn over them. You better pray for your children. Go and go ask President Biden. He will explain to you how sad it is. Hallelujah. How sorrowful it is. Hallelujah. He can explain, he, he can explain it better. But that doesn't have to happen to you for you to know that it's very sad. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray over your children. The Bible says they are the heritage of the Lord. Metotod and is the reward. The fruit of the womb is the reward of it. I did all my children. They will move forward in the name of Jesus. They will do great 
in the name of Jesus. They will go higher. I commit them to the care of God. The hand of the Lord will cover them. The power of God will secure them. No evil shall be for them. This is my children, O God. I commit them into your care. This is my children, O God. I commit them into your care. I want them for great things. My children, you will do great. My children, every, every, every power working against them, bow. Every spirit working against their life, bow. In the name of Jesus, progress shall be their portion. Excellence shall be their portion. They shall be the head, not the tail. My children, hear the voice of God. You will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Your children will serve the Lord. You will not mourn, you will not cry. No sorrow. Those that you are believing God for the foot of the womb, I pray in the name of Jesus. You will give back to your own. In the name of Jesus, you will give back to your own children. Nothing shall touch them. Nothing shall touch you. You will produce your own. All those that you are believing God for the foot of your womb, everyone will remember you. Everyone will remember you. Everyone will remember you. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray. You will be a good father to your children. Say that, amen. You will be an excellent mother to your children in the name of Jesus. Lord, your children are covered by the blood of Jesus. They are secure. The Lord will go ahead of them and clear the way. All the days of trouble, the Lord will clear the way. All the days of dangers, the Lord will clear the way for them. They will see the Lord. They will serve the Lord. They will do great things in life. In the land of the living, you will enjoy them. You will enjoy them. You will enjoy them. You will enjoy them. You will be a good father. You will be a good mother. They will be a good children to you. In the name of Jesus. They will serve the Lord. They will obey the voice of the Lord. You will not cry. You will not suffer. That life will not be cut short. Your own life will not be cut down. So shall it be. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. The children discover by the blood of Jesus. Now, lift whatever your project this year. Say, Father, I commit this project into your care. I commit my papers. I want you God to establish me in this land. I don't know what you are believing God. Lift your voice and say, Father, this is the work of my hand. Bless it. You have promised to bless the work of my hand. Bless it this year. The Lord blessed the work of the enemies of Isaac. He increased him. He made Isaac to be great in that nation. Somebody pray the Lord God of heaven to bless the work of your hand. What you are doing, that business, let God bless it. That work, that place of work, let God bless you. Let God increase you, multiply you. In that, that, that city, in that country, let God establish you. No more limitation. No more holding back. Let God surprise you. May God answer to your request. May God answer to your prayer. May God answer to your request. May God answer to your prayer. May God answer to your request. May God answer to your prayers. So shall it be. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Father, we have lifted up our voice this morning. Daddy, show yourself to your people. Daddy, reveal your power to them. Let them experience your glory. Everyone that lift up their, their voice before you, this morning, let them experience your glory. And let your name be glory, glorified. That water is covered by the blood of Jesus. That water brings healing and deliverance to you. In the name of Jesus. That water is covered by the blood of Jesus. That water is covered to everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Your business place is covered. Your business place is covered. Your place of work is covered. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our King will pray. Amen. Amen. Let's put, uh, let's put the man that we continue uh, in, by three and also by five. And also what I'm going to why I say is that I, was, I love to, uh, for, I promise that I'll open the, the Zoom. Let me make it clear. I'll, I'm going to open the Zoom line. I mean, you can speak to me on Zoom, but I only do it when I'm here. I mean, in a few minutes, after if the prayer is finished, I can accept your Zoom one by one. No, I will not, I'm not going to accept everybody at the same time. So you, I will let some people stay there. So I speak to you because I don't know whether you people want, to, want people to listen to what you want to say. And I told you the purpose of I, I'm doing this is sometimes not... Um, them. Let's leave that for God. Hallelujah. So if if I open the Zoom line, you can be able to come in and accept you. But I only just stay when I'm here. When I'm here. When I'm in. Stay here where I am. 
that I like to do that in the evening. It's, it's a little bit, uh, you know, you know, it's very clear to you. Hallelujah. So I think it's easy in the morning for me. That's why I'm here. And uh, so after this prayer, I'm going to open the Zoom line. So to go to the Zoom, so if you want to, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do it. It doesn't matter. God has answered you. Too. But if you think, oh, well, I just didn't want to say, so I want to maybe advise or certain things, counseling, it's okay. You know. Let's leave the rest for the God Almighty. Hallelujah. So, if I open the line, so just not few people, I just I leave. God bless you. Let's share the grace together. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Spirit for His Holy Spirit. We will touch now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Shall we ask the Lord forever and ever? Amen. If let me just show you quickly, this is Zoom. Zoom. This is Zoom. You can write, just write it down. That's if you want to join the Zoom, that's the Zoom right there. I, I will just only do it when I'm here, when I'm sitting here. Hallelujah. And uh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So.